I promise you I'm not just a floating head. Woot! Yeah, I gotta get this lighting situation figured out. I haven't had a chance to make my little light panels. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'll probably make, um... Uh, I don't know how I can make a smaller one because those, those strings that I bought are really, really huge. Um, because I want to, like, maybe make it like a, an angle. Well, how do I do this? Um, kind of like, if we look at my little cell phone stand here, kind of like, well, this way. Except that that'll, there'll be a base and the, the light will angle up instead of facing straight on, because straight on I don't think would do well. Um, the light wouldn't bounce. Um, and I want to put one on this side of the desk and another one over here, see if that'll help this situation, because you don't want to know what I'm using for a filter on this little light up there. Um, DIY. Anyway, um, let's see. Yeah. Oh, this week is going to be crazy. Um, they're now making us take tests twice a week starting this week. And I've already done one uh, this afternoon, Tuesday afternoon. Got to do it again Friday. So fun. Um, but what are you going to do? You can complain about it, but you still got to do it. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's fun. Um, trying to think. Um, working, still working on my website. Eh, I would like to, like, I don't know. I, I, I like the theme that I have. I just, I just, I need to figure out how to, um, make more, uh, front page module containers because I'm running out <laughs> unless I can figure out how to use the, uh, ones that are left and right. And see what I can put in those because maybe if I could like have something not take up the full width and things that I need the full width will well get the full width containers but um, that and I've been trying to <clears throat> uh, taking deep dives into the CSS coding in that theme that I'm using and to uh, change colors um, that aren't obvious um creating new uh, containers to so i can have a background color so i could break up all the the big white white space that's there bring emphasis to other um things uh yeah making my own page templates which that's always exciting when they don't work but then you figure it out and then they start working um <laughs> But, because uh, I remember a couple of years ago, I was trying to do that with um, my uh, other, my MDDU site, and I, for, I could not get the stupid thing to work, but I'm pretty sure it was the theme that was, that, that I'm using on that site, because um, I guess the developer decided just to abandon it, but so far it hasn't broken. It still works for some silly reason, except for some plugins don't work anymore because the developers decided not to bother with them anymore. Especially the share widget. I really liked that share widget. It was like a little asterisk, asterisk, whatever, little star looking thing. And you click on it and then a, a little pop-up window would come up out of it and you could like share to all, all the different share sites well i went back in to look at that because i wanted that for my my anita potter Productions site and found it wasn't working anymore and then i couldn't even find the developer anymore so i was like well crap there goes that idea um so <laughs> fun but i need to rebuild that site i need to rebuild my image site as well because i really bleeping hate the theme on my image site. The uh, original developer decided to abandon it and these other chuckleheads took it over and just turned it into something. Oh, we're gonna make you do, instead of giving us control, 
of selling our images on our own site, they decided to, oh, we're going to hide some stuff behind a paywall. It's like, and it is just, the way it was, we were supposed to connect everybody together. And then you could search and then you'd find images from other sites on there. Well, I never got any freaking referrals, so I don't know how many referrals I shipped off to other people, so I just don't want to do that anymore. Um, I'd rather would just uh, make one for myself or find something suitable um, geared towards making a, a, a my own little store for my own images. That way I can like actually, oh hell, develop that and not have to worry about doing things with other stock sites. I'm not exclusive to any of the stock sites that I'm still on. They still generate some money, but not enough to, uh, yeah, make a living, especially since some people decided to uh, cut everybody's uh, royalties and make us fight to get those back. That's, thanks. Um, still not mentioning any names, but, uh, yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, let's see. Yeah, I worked early today, so it's like I'm going to, as soon as I get done with this video uploaded, scheduled for Wednesday, I'm going to friggin' bed. Um, I'm working uh, an early schedule again on Wednesday. Then I'm going to come home, do another video that I've been meaning to do for like, what, three, four weeks now. I haven't been able to do any of the other videos because I've been so stinking busy trying to get everything sorted. Um, but yeah, get that done. And then I'm back to my normal schedule Thursday. And I don't know if I'm going to be doing this again next week. I don't have a clue. I'm, I've taken three days off next week before Thanksgiving. So, and I work that, I work Thanksgiving. It's just another freaking day. It's like I'm, my kids aren't here during the week when I'm working. So why would I stay at home? Just go work. Um, let's see. What else? I don't see that there's much else happening right now other than, like, my lighting sucks because I'm looking at my OBS right now, and it's, like, a black shirt, dark light, no backlighting, no front lighting, just um, a light covered, so I've not gotten white highlights, bright spots on my forehead and the rest of my face and all of me. So the, the, because I don't, I, I still need to learn how to use resolve with, um, color grading. I'm, I'm still, uh, it's some of the uh, tutorials I have found are just like, wait, what? Oh, you mean you, you have to have like an actual white, something or other to get the balance or whatnot. Not with the lighting that I have in this place. That's like a yellow casty light. This is another yellow casty light. I used to have um, daylight bulbs. The, uh, uh, what are they called? I can't remember what they're called, but they're the, ha not halogen. They're not LED either. They were the, um, Don't remember what those light bulbs were called, but they were daylight bulbs for that I used to, when I was doing stock photography when I had a had a DSLR. Um, yeah, let's see. Huh? The little ones CF they CFL, you know the ones that come out and they twisty around and connect at the top. Yeah, I'm so technical right now. Um, <laughs> let me know down in the comments below what the hell those lights are called. Because I'm drawing a freaking blank. Um, let's see. What? I'm, I'm, I'm going to try doing some bass recording this coming weekend. Because um, I was have, still having, it's like, my, uh, the bass was giving me, like, before I, cha even before I changed the strings, it was making this weird modulating. I'd hold, I'd press down it was like the first within the first three frets didn't matter which string it was except maybe I think it was more on the lower end it was getting some like pitchy modulating something or other and I was not moving my hands anywhere it was just doing it on its own I'm like what the is going on so I was like oh maybe maybe I should change my strings 
Okay, got some strings, changed them, waited a couple of, like, uh, God, about two weeks or so, just picking it up like every other day, tuning it, making sure the uh, intonation is set correctly, checking to make sure I didn't need to do mess with the truss rod. Um, let's see. And I was like two weeks ago. I was like, okay, well, let's check it out. Maybe it's had enough time to acclimate and be fine and not screw up or anything. So I was, I plugged it into my interface. It was still making that weird modulating pitch bend sound. It's, it's a little hard to describe. It was like, it wasn't like you were holding the string down and then bending the note up or down. It was just going up and then coming back and going that way. And I wasn't doing anything with my hands. They were sitting still. So I, and then I tested it out the other day and it wasn't doing it anymore. So I don't <laughs> have a clue what the hell was going on with that. Other than the weather around here is psychotic. We had... Well, we had that snow in September. Yeah, it was still summer. We got three inches of snow. Um, then it was like cold for a couple of days and then it started warming up and then it was hot for a while and getting cold at night, like in the like 30s. And then yesterday, the temperature, it snowed again. Yeah, where'd that come from? Not even, it's just like meteorologists. Oh, hey, yeah, it's just going to rain. No, it didn't. It snowed. It wasn't even, it wasn't much. It was enough to cover the cars and be annoying, but it didn't stick to the roads. It still stuck to the roofs of, of the uh, houses that down that way. Um, but let's see. What the hell was I talking about? Um, I can't rewind. Can't do it. Um, yeah, totally lost my, what the hell was I talking about? My bass? I was talking about the bass. Oh, yes, the bass. So, it's not doing it anymore. And I'm going to check it out again this weekend to make sure it's still not doing it anymore, hopefully, because... That was like the weirdest, weirdest thing. It's like, I know my bass has never done that. I've never had a bass do that on me. Even when I got the damn thing to begin with, it never did it on me. Even the Dean that's in my kid's room never did that. So, and I can't play it because it's huge and heavy and I got little fingers. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to do some bass recording this weekend. I'm going to work on that piano track of mine sometime I just have to get organized and just deal with it I need to spend that time just dealing with that just doing that and not a friggin thing else so I'm not like losing my mind doing a hundred thousand things at once and getting nothing done um I think that's about it yeah I'm gonna like do a video or two tomorrow so I can have those get released uh, Thursday and Friday so I can try to get myself back on track with with um, YouTube uh, <clears throat> because there's still stuff to learn with Reaper and I still got I'm still haven't had a chance to practice the um, chance composition thingy paper <laughs> I can't reach hang on <laughs> run my own feet off. I can't reach. My chance composition. That's out of focus. And oh shit, there's a stain on my paper. Oh well. It happens. But yeah, I still need to go through that and get those chords memorized and the scale memorized so I'm, I'm not sitting there hunting. Because when... It's like I don't... The, let me scoop back up. <clears throat> Right, because um, the thing with me in theory is I don't need to learn everything. I just need to learn what I need, and then I just memorize. Uh, repetition helps with memorization. Let me say that again. 
Repetition helps with memorization. Bet you're saying it now too, aren't you? Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to try to get back into doing that too. Um, so you know what I'm going to ask? How was your week? Your last seven days? How did it go? Anything exciting? Anything going on? Just let me know in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.